Chào mọi người, thì hôm nay thì mình đang có dịp cơ hội để gặp gỡ trực tiếp với giám đốc kinh doanh của DSET Audio, một thương hiệu âm thanh high-end về kỹ thuật số về DSC nổi tiếng nhất trên thế giới hiện nay. Và hôm nay thì mình cũng đang có một cái buổi workshop về những cái mẫu tai nghe cao cấp cùng cái hệ thống đắc am tiền tỷ là DSET Lina. Mr. Ref, nice to see you here. Thank you for joining our interview. And um, would you mind introduce yourself a little bit and also about DCS Audio as well? Because we know DCS Audio is a leader in high-end audio industry, especially in digital audio. But for HeFi users, sometimes they're still very curious about DCS Audio. Uh, firstly, very excited uh, to be back in Vietnam after it's been quite a few years um, with our local partners, uh, Tantum Audio. And uh, so myself, so my name is Raf. I'm the sales director at DCS, uh, and I've been with DCS now for coming up to just over 25 years. So, so it's been a fantastic journey. So as far as DCS uh, goes, so we are actually uh, based out of uh, uh, the UK. So the factory is actually based out of Cambridge, and that's where we all our hardware, software, mechanical design, everything is done in-house by us. Um, so we are, manufacturers of uh, uh, digital, audio, digital audio products. So we manufacture DACs, CD players, then we also have uh, uh, headphone amplifiers, uh, master clocks uh, for audio systems as well. So we've been uh, in business since uh, 1987. So just coming up close to about you know, 37 years now. So we've been involved with the um, audio industry in, in every way, shape or form, all the way from recording all the way up to playback uh, for more than three decades now. Yeah. So we have, our engineers have a lot, a lot of expertise um, within that field. Yeah, mm. about nearly 40 years in the audio industry since like the first DCS 900 and 950 is still used today in the live recording studio as well. But I think the first time that DCS has joined in into the headphone or headphone user community would be in DCS Batok headphone amplifier in 2018. I remember you from Kanjam, Singapore. <laughs> then that, that's what the first time that I see and uh, I can experience DCS audio with headphone because like, for most of the time, this is still something like our average of most headphone user. Like this set by talks really introduce us into like the world of this set. The sound and the signature, the timing is so is out of this world. So, but I was wondering why is the need for this set Lina? Because like the this set by talk were obviously a great success. As you've just mentioned, so <clears throat> for us, we've been in the audio industry for many decades now. And we've always, we are all about innovation, uh, about pushing the boundaries. And uh, the HeadFi space was a space where we thought we could contribute something very, very special to. And our journey, as you've mentioned, it began, uh, began with the Bartok in 2018. And that's the first time ever we uh, designed a headphone amplifier that was then um, introduced into our Bartok DAC. And it was a huge success. Um, but as you're most probably aware, so the Bar Talk actually features a Class A headphone amplifier. Um, and the whole idea there was to, you know, take our first step into the headphone space and uh, see how things go. Um, so over a period of, you know, a couple of years, we uh, were recognized within the space, accepted within the headphone community. And... Uh, um, and, and, and the reviews we got and the comments we get from our, got from our customers um, was extremely positive. So it was a huge success for us. So that got us thinking, okay, you know, we need to now move into the next stage because we thought we can offer something very, very unique to our HeadFi customers. And that's where Lena comes into the equa equation. So Lena was pretty much uh, redesigned, it, it designed from the ground up down to we went to the next level with the head headphone amplifier design, um, down to looking at the form factor and what we can offer and uh, through our DAX, all the functionality, which we'll go through in a bit more detail shortly. Um, and uh, yeah, the rest is history. I mean, since we've launched the Lena, it's been a huge success, been very, uh, been welcomed by uh, all of our headphone, headphone customers, by headphone users within the community. So yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so obviously we see that DC Batox have a traditional DC design, but nowadays DC Lina is much more stylish, compact, and there's three products in DC Lina range. So you have the DAC, the clock, and the headphone amplifier. 
Each of their own is very interesting products. So let's start off with DCS Lina Deck. Uh, the DCS uh, Lina range features three, this has three products in the range. So the product at the very top, we've got our Lina uh, DAC, then we have our Lina uh, Master Clock, and then we have the Lina Headphone Amplifier. Now again, it's a, it's a completely, it's a fully modular system. So for many customers, you know, they would start off with the Lina DAC, and they would be, can use it with whatever headphone amplifier they're using within, within their systems. Uh, then as an upgrade, you can add the clock to the system. Or alternatively, many customers might end up just starting off or might just start off with our headphone amplifier and use it with whichever source they're, uh, they're using. Or as a final solution, you know, the customers can, you know, just have the full stack. So, there's, there, so it's a fully modular system depending on the customer's needs. You know, we can fulfill the requirements. Uh, now, starting off with the, uh, with the Lina DAC, it's, it's just a, you know, it's, it's a complete package. Um, now, with, with everything that DCS does, it is unique, you know, with all the technologies that we have in there, uh, within our products. Everything is designed in-house from the ground up by our, our team of engineers, which and, and all the technologies we have within our products have been refined over, you know, over three, de over three decades. Now, at the core heart of the system of our, within the DAC, we have our own uh, unique DCS ring DAC technology which again is one of the things that sets us apart from everyone else. Now, many manufacturers will tend to use off-the-shelf DAC chips. We don't use DAC chips. We use our own patented ring DAC technology, which is a circuit, uh, running our own uh, DAC algorithm as well. Um, now, look, and then the second key feature at the heart of the system is our upsampling technology, which we pretty much pioneered uh, back in the, you know, the, in the early 90s from our pro audio uh, days. Uh, then our clocking architecture, now, within the Lina DAC itself, if you, uh, it's, it's got an array of digital inputs at the back, which enables you to stream music from any source, really, uh, whether it be a DAP or it be a transport or, you know, any source. So it gives you that flexibility in all those different options. Now, within the, so the, the Lina DAC, so it's a DAC, yeah. It's a uh, it's an upsampler. It has state of the art streaming electronics internally, um, and uh, it's it, it's it's just a complete all in one solution. Now if it we it does feature its own streaming platform, something that we call uh, Mosaic. Now, in terms of streaming, it again it's a complete package. What it does offer is it offers uh, streaming from online services such as. Kobus, we've got Tidal Connect, Spotify Connects, Deezer. It offers options such as internet radio as well, enables customers to stream music from a NAS, or even for convenience, you can even use AirPlay uh, into the system as well. So when, so, and again, the Mosaic app in itself is a full, it's a remote control as well, so it enables you to, you know, change all the settings within the unit as well. Uh, changing all the upsampling settings like what we have as I mentioned it's an upsampler as well so anything any source that you use whatever your source of music is when the data enters uh, comes into the DAC then you have an option of upsampling that data to either DXD, DSD or even recently uh, that we've added a new feature of double DSD upsampling then you have an option a whole array of filters which customers have the option um, uh, to use uh, in addition to that, we have uh, uh, the Lina DAC features uh, uh, our Expanse technology, which again, it's improved crossfeed, especially within the head fire space. You know, it's very, very long, and crossfeed is, is yeah. you know, it's very well understood. So we offer multiple options for, for, uh, uh, for, for crossfeed as well, for Expanse. Um, so it's uh, so uh, as I've just mentioned. So it's 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 an extremely flexible product, um, offering optimal push, uh, performance from any source. Yeah, I think it's a, so for the DCS Lina deck. I would say it's a state of the art all in one unit with Correct. all of DSP with the signature DCS Lin deck, also streaming platform, everything inside, even like a transformer in the bottom of the unit as well. That's a very interesting product, I would say. And the for the CrossFit as well, as I experienced it, I would say it's very useful. It's not the start of sale, especially at the sales stage. It's expanded, like the name. Indeed. Very in interesting. But 
I'm very curious about the clock itself because they says that it's always so good. But for the most headphone user, I was thinking, okay, so for headphone user, most of the time you don't see the clock in that community or in the headphone space. Indeed. So again, in the clocking architecture, it's not many, you know, uh, manufacturers within the within the audio space offer an option for clocks. But it is, uh, it, it is uh, we are one of the few manufacturers that offer this option. Again, it all goes all the way back to our experience in the professional audio, in the recording studios, where it's a very, uh, uh, the clock, clock is a product which is very commonly used. So internally within the Lena DAC in itself, it, the clock, it has an internal clock which is fully optimized. But as soon as you can add a dedicated clock to the system to which the DAC will synchronize to, the leap in performance that, is, that it offers is, is absolutely, it's substantial, it is huge. And it's a demonstration you can very, very easily do. You can listen to it with just, when you're listening to your track, while you're listening to it, just turn the clock off, instantly you hear the difference. It's, and it doesn't, just, with, you know, and it doesn't um, uh, you know, improve any particular aspect of it. It has an, an improvement on every aspect of the music down to the sound stage the depth, the detail, the sibilance, the timbre, just pretty much every single aspect of the music. It's one of those, once you hear it, you cannot unhear it. Yeah, actually, when I hear it the first time when I see an additional clock with the leader that I would say, okay, so if I turn on and turn off, it's time so much smoother, I would say. The transient, the cymbal, the instruments sound much more realistic. And I would say for the DCI Lina DAC and the Lina Clock, they offer a very different approach compared to the previous, even the previous generation. The Lina is much more warmer, musical, and realistic even. For this price, I think it's a very unique product combination. Yep. But that's what we are trying to do. Our engineers on a daily basis, you know, that's what their aim is, is connecting our customers to the music. You know, and it's trying to take you as close as possible to that live, to the real performance, and just trying to pu push, keep pushing the envelope and keep pushing the boundaries uh, on a daily basis. And that's the beauty of DCS products: is that once you have a DCS product, all you know, our products are software updatable as well. Yeah. So just to give you an idea, uh, you know, it's uh, been in the works for at least you know just about five years. You know, we have our own unique uh, ring deck technology. But then that also has been keep, we, that's been evolving over the years, and over the last five years, you know, been working very closely, looking at our DAC, DAC architecture to see how we can improve it f further. So we have now introduced a new our new mapping algorithm, a double speed ma mapping al algorithm, to our Lina DAC. So we just offered a software update uh, literally last week, which added, you know, the new mapper uh, to the, to the Lina DAC which literally gave it a substantial leap in performance. And that's one of the key features of DCS products, that once you have, you, you have that product, you will live with it or you'll own it for many, many, many years to come. Because as you can imagine, digital is constantly evolving. New streaming uh, services becoming available, new file formats becoming available. So you need to make sure, you know, when you have a product that it keeps on evolving and stays current you know, it keeps on evolving with the changing times and be current even five years down the road. And with DCS products, that's, a, you know, a, a key feature that we offer to all our customers. So in situ, you can just, once there's a new software update available, we make the announcement and then the customers need to go through Mosaic, check for updates, download the software. And by means of software updates, we add new features, offer performance enhancements. So the, the product over the years will just keep on evolving. Yeah. And since you mentioned the firmware update, especially last week, the DC Lina 2.0 firmware upgrade, basically transform the DC Lina into a new DAC. I would think so because it sounds so much different. The depth, the bass, especially the bass, the texture is so much more solid. More, there's so much more oomph inside. You can feel the sound state get wider, also deeper as well. So how did you do that? Like even a software update, a firmware update that basically transform a DAC into a basically a new product like I would say, new life into the old show. Indeed, again, it, that, that is down to uh, our new mapping algorithm that our engineers have been working on you know, for years now. So by means of software updates, we've managed to introduce that new mapper um, uh, into the DAC, and that's what offers this improved performance. But the software update as well, actually it has, uh, we are, we've added many more features as well. One of the, up until last week, 
the upsampling options that we offered were DSD and DXD. So we've just added double DSD uh, to that as well. Two 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 yes. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so we've added uh, additional filter options as well. So yeah. So it's a uh, so, so it's a substantial substantial software update. Yeah, and I think the for DC at Lino that itself, and even with the clock, I think it's like a state of the art not only for a headphone crowd but also for a two channel user as well. I think it's so much more life into it. No, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, I mean, it's uh, it with the Lino range, you know, we we have an option. You know, for, uh, it it caters for both customers, whether it's uh, you know headphone customer or for our two-channel customers as well. Now with our two-channel customers, obviously they would just be the Lina DAC and the Lina clock, and then it goes straight into your power amplifiers, so you've got a, you know, a state-of-the-art two-channel system. For our HeadFi customers, again, the same. So it's a state-of-the-art uh, reference uh, headphone playback system with the addition of the headphone amplifier. But again, as I said, it's completely modular, so customers might have headphones, uh, might have a headphone amplifier, so they can always start with the DAC, adding the clock to it as an upgrade, or do it in reverse, yes. you know, use uh, whatever source they might be using, but, you know, use the head, uh, Lina headphone amplifier, or just eventually end up with the, with the whole stack, basically giving you um, optimum performance from any source, whatever that might be. So. so, and also, since you talk about the headphone amplifier, I think this is the first time that this has introduced a dedicated headphone amplifier for the headphone user as well. So I was wondering, especially since the last time you introduced with the um, Batok headphone amplifier, it's a class A but lower power design. But with now with the Lina headphone amplifier, I would say it's much more powerful but class A B design. So I was wondering, is it, is it the change is needed for some like to uh, to offer more from the in ears into the high end planner into whatever it is? At the end, of the, yes. So as you've just mentioned, so the the Lena headphone amplifier is an absolute. It's a phenomenal product, and what we've been able to deliver with this, it's uh, it's been you know worldwide. It's been very very well received by you know many. Uh, even the high-end headphone manufacturers uh, are customers by the community in itself. Uh, so as, as you've just mentioned, so we started off with the, so our first design of a headphone amplifier was what we have in our Bartok, which is a Class A design. But as you said, when it came, it, when it came to you know, um, um, uh, some of the headphones, you know, it could run out of steam. Yeah. But that's, so that was one of the challenges as well. How could we design a headphone amplifier? that fits all, whether it's you know, low impedance, high impedance, it shouldn't really matter, be able to drive anything and everything that's available on the market. And again, so it's with the Lina headphone amplifier yet again. I mean, this, this was quite an, a big, big project for engineers and it's been designed literally from the ground up again. And uh, that's, you, that's, you just need one amplifier. Um, and Lina, the Lina headphone amp will literally run anything and everything. You don't have to have with certain headphones a certain headphone amplifier. For another set of headphones you need a different kind of a headphone amplifier. With with the Lina headphone amp, it's it's that's the only solution you need and it literally, literally caters for everything uh, that you intend to use with it. So I think it's a very versatile product as well for the whole DCS Lina. It could be the apex of the headphone user as well. That what headphone user dream up. I think a lot of people dream up the setup right here. And for the high, for two channel user, I think it's offer like a smaller solution, but still state of the art DCS sound. Very interesting product, and I think it's a great success. Exactly, and as far as we're concerned, you know, like you know, many of our we have lots, lots of uh, different technologies, unique technologies to DCS, which have been, you know, uh, all all been de designed in house by our engineers. And how and one of the biggest challenges for us for the Lina DAC was. How do you incorporate that into a smaller form factor? And that was actually quite uh, quite a big challenge for us. And uh, we're very proud with the final solution we came out with. So what we have w internally within these products is uh, the electronics that we use. It's it is one PCB, but it incorporates all of our key designs and technologies, being the uh, complete ring DAC circuit, which is a substantial uh, uh, set of electronics there then the state-of-the-art streaming electronics, then our upsampling technology. So what we, um, what we finally 
designed was th the technology we used within here on the PCB is flex, ri flex rigid technology, which means so actually the PCB, it's a big PCB, but it's, it's a folding board. So basically, if you look internally inside you know, these products, you will find that PCB covers that area, all sides of the fascias, basically. So that, hence, we managed to squeeze all of that technology into a smaller form factor. Now, um, again, you know, with DCS, we are all about innovation, pushing the state of the art in digital audio. And uh, um, we've pioneered many, many technologies over the years. And worldwide, that's one thing that DCS uh, is known for whether it's within uh, the recording, the pro audio industry, or within the consumer. Um, now, if you look at some of the world's firsts, you know, um, you, know, you, you, know, uh, you know, we are, we talk about, you know, high resolution audio uh, these days. So it's, I mean, DCS were the manufacturer, we were one of the first to actually uh, offer a 24-bit A to D and a DAC. For this yet, um 900, right? That's it. So we had, when we had the 900 series, so we we offered the recording studios back in the early days. You know, the world's first 24-bit converters, 2496, 24192, uh, A to D and D to A converters. So we we've been you know involved with high res you know literally right from the beginning and being the first company in the world to actually offer studios such converters to enable them to do, uh, you know, the, uh, do those recordings. So we've been involved all the way through, all the way from music reproduction, all the way up to, to music playback. Now, if you look at our DAC as well, um, all, uh, so it will, all the inputs, so it will accept high resolution formats, all the way, you know, whether it be 2496, 176, 192, DSD, double DSD, DXD, uh, of different kinds of fo file formats as well. So it's, uh, yeah, so it's, it, it, it is very, very unique and you know, what DCS have to offer to our customers. And all I would tell customers is, you know, as and when you have the opportunity, please contact your local dealer and try it out and experience it for yourself. And the product just delivers. You just have to hear it to appreciate what it has to offer. So for the headphone user, I would say it's a must be experiencing once in a lifetime experience with DCS Lina you know, because you can never do something reach something like this in a headphone crowd. There's nothing ever come close or touch to this level, I would say. And for the two-channel guy, I would say, okay, come to Tanto Audio and listen to Lina and the clock itself to see how it's performing, how it's, it's compared to the, all the state-of-the-art, all the flagship, all the flagship DAC, and see if it's, it's real or not. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks again for doing the interview with us. And thank you so much for your time, Mr. Vu. Thank you so much, Mr. Brad. Thank you. Pleasure.